Hi friends, my name is Anuradha and in this lecture we will be connecting to Influx CLI and begin with database. In our last lecture we downloaded InfluxDB and we configured in instance, we started InfluxDB server and then we connected to Influx CLI and we'll be following instructions available. So when we'll connect to Influx CLI, we'll find that we have different databases which are collection of uh, measurements and then these measurements are similar to tables if you're from SQL background and instead of rows, they, we have points in this, these measurements, okay? And these points comprised of three type of fields if I say one is actual data the other is metadata which we call tag which is used for indexing this data and then timestamp basically pertains to when this data was actually inserted okay so as we see over here to get this data or to interact with data we use influx ql which is a SQL like query for interacting with influx db and provides features specific to storing and analyzing time series database. So let's get started. Uh, so I'm already on my CLI. Let me see if I already have database. Okay, I already have this public database available. So what I'll do, I'll drop this database so that we can start from scratch. Okay, and let me see database again so it is no more over here now what I have done already I have created one directory and in, with any name right data underscore influx and first we need to download our database over here and for that we'll go to command prompt okay and let me check instruction from my site so what we have to do we have to download this database with the help of the SQL command and see this database is available on Amazon AWS and once we download this data we will import this data and to import this what we have to do we have to follow second command okay so this will import data in influx okay so why it is not reading my influx command because i am not in influx directory and in case if i want to make it read it from anywhere in uh, my command prompt i need to set it in my path variable so right now i have not set it in path variable so i'll go to this location okay and then i'll run this command again so this imports my database in influx okay now let's go to cli now here uh, earlier in our previous lecture we just gave command influx right and here we'll be doing something additional we'll be using command influx precision rfc mm, let me see what it is exactly it is rfc triple three nine rfc triple three nine okay so what it is actually doing by default we get timestamp in measurement which are in some format which we might not be able to read so what we have to do in order to have it in ddmm yy and so on format we have to use this format reference rfc 339 okay and we have to connect to our cli using this command so let's connect to our cli so we are on our cli now let's again do show data basis so we already have this database again once we do import let's connect to this database we have to give use and we have to give database name so here we are connected to this database and we can perform queries which are similar to sql queries and are called ifql influx query language okay so what the next thing is to see what are the measurements over here what are the tables which we call measurements so we'll give command show measurements and gives me list of measurements available okay so each measurement is a collection of data and uh, to see data in any measurement it's simple and it's similar to the sql language 
say I pick select a star from this okay and it shows me this lot of data so this is huge amount of data if you see uh, and why we have done these steps uh, we have done these steps to make data ready for our next lecture where we'll be setting up grafana which is a visualization tool we'll be setting up this database as a source in grafana and have a look on how we can view data which is there in influx db let's move to our next lecture